My name is John Gamanda. I work with the University of, of Malawi and also with the Strait. So this use case is about the National Agriculture Management Information System in Malawi. Uh, this is a national system to support various uh, work practices at community level. So the setup of this uh, service delivery model is such that, let's say, at the lowest level in the country, we have what are called uh, community uh, extension workers, or the official title is uh, agricultural development officers. So these extension development officers uh, visit households and provide various assistance and education related to agriculture. So what we have then is the National Agriculture Management Information System, which is an effort to consolidate and support practices at uh, community level. So with this system, we have different uh, capabilities, some of which are displayed uh, here. So like there's an early warning component. So the early warning component uh, is important because agriculture has a lot to do with uh, weather and uh, climate impact. So there's the component that relates to the weather and climate data, but also the other component to early warning is being able to determine the amount of food that a country is going to produce and also being able to see and determine whether specific households are food secure or they food insecure. So those are the components that uh, make up this component on early warning. So I'll just highlight one thing here, like you have this household food situation assessment. So here the extension work at the lowest level visit households every fortnight uh, looking at whether the number of looking at the number of people in the household uh, the type of food they have available livestock they have available and summarily in the end trying to determine whether the household is going to be food secure for the next fortnight or not and then based on that different interventions can be organized to support those households and then there's also the component on the agricultural extension. So this is to support uh, extension services. So there are various areas of, of support, uh, like for example, nutrition or what are called the, the tracking of what are called uh, lead farmers. So there's a lead farmer register. So this, the lead farmers are model farmers. So you look at the lead farmers, uh, what sort of training they have. Uh, you also follow their followership. So uh, who is following them and what are they being trained on. So and then they also, for example, what are called model villages where a specific target interventions can be implemented for, for studying and then also propagating those to, to others. Then there's a, a component on resource allocation, so which is at two levels, one at the household level, so where you want to see what's happening at households. So like displayed here, this is uh, the household registration form. So with the household register, you get household demographics and also types of uh, agricultural enterprises a household is, is part of, whether they part of an agricultural uh, cooperative. So because government support now is being organized around government, I mean around uh, these cooperatives, so you want to see whether a household belongs to a cooperative so that they are able to access necessary help. But also one key thing here is that you do check uh, whether a household is getting support from NGOs and also from government linked projects and what sort of support these households are getting so based on that you can see the areas in which the households are getting support and whether they're benefiting from uh, multiple interventions so this will also provide a basis for more equitable allocation of, of resources and uh, at the higher level let's say at district level then there's the the project uh, implementation tracking so just looking at what projects are implemented, where they implemented, uh, what sort of activities they are supporting, the, the budget lines and also the, the duration for, for those projects. And then there's a trade and, trade and marketing component. So for the trade and marketing component, here we are mainly looking at uh, collection analysis and dissemination of uh, data on uh, commodity prices as well as prices of input. So under this, you have uh, designated government workers that are called enumerators. So these go to markets. At the moment, they're collecting uh, data on a weekly basis. So they would track different uh, commodities. And so usually they would sample multiple uh, sellers and then get an average price for a commodity and then report on that. And then they also do follow the inputs, fertilizers, 
and other uh, inputs in, in, in agriculture. So those provide a basis for monitoring the, the changes in prices and also the possible impacts on livelihoods and uh, agricultural activities. And another key component within the uh, NAMIS platform is we have the components on livestock. So here we have different tools for uh, monitoring livestock dynamics and also for other animals. So essentially you look at things like uh, births, deaths, uh, transfers in, transfers out, and animals stolen and for I mean and livestock stolen or not and for other animals you can also look at vaccination status so all that uh, comes under this component on uh, life uh, animals and, and livestock so they, there is an extensive number of forms that supports that so one key thing also to note within the system setup we do have uh, a structured uh, reporting hierarchy for the standard units so in terms of work and service organization, you have at the lowest level what's called a block, and then uh, blocks are grouped into sections. So mainly the eight blocks make a section, and then sections are grouped into extension planning areas, and above the extension planning area, you have a district, and then an agricultural development uh, division, and then the, the national level. So this is the uh, typical administrative structure. But also within the platform, we do have embedded uh, all the markets in, in the country and the weather stations as well as uh, uh, fishing points and, and reporting units so all that within the, the, the platform. So in terms of uh, uh, implementation and daily work you have the extension worker uh, working with the mobile device so collecting most of the data so and then sending that to a, a central server from where now the data can be ex uh, accessed by different uh, stakeholders based on uh, what sort of access they, they granted. So I think in short I would say that's that uh, about the Malawi National Agriculture Management Information System uh, which we've done on top of DHIS2 <coughs> and also maybe one note is to extend on the capabilities because for some of the work here it's based on uh, sampling so we can't do that out of the box with DHIS2 so we've built uh, some apps to assist with the, the sampling and also even for sample the households because you're dealing with uh, hundreds of households so you can't have someone manually enrolling those households to the necessary tools for data collection so the app also does handle the bit for making this sort of um, assignment. And then in some cases we've also built some other apps to extend the platform capabilities to best suit uh, this use case.